usually in the younger years. What kept you so long? <laughs> I thought I'd wait until I'd matured, like a good wine, I guess. Well, I suppose there was such a reaction every time I mentioned music over the last 25 years that I, I found difficult to deal with. I didn't have the confidence to, do, to deal with it. And uh, there was a lot of eye rolling, I think. And so basically I went, no, it's all right. I won't inflict myself upon you. I'll back away. So when you say there's a huge reaction in the eye rolling, okay. are you talking about your nearest and dearest? or I'm talking about a lot of the press and, um, you know, interviews that we would do and, and public as well, all sorts of all sorts of people, to be honest. And I and I just, you know, was particularly sensitive to it. So I just thought, I think also I didn't have the confidence to come forward with the music I was making. So I just, I hid in a corner. Well, given that, how are you feeling about revealing yourself this way now? Um, a little nervous, but I'm I'm much more conscious of the the benefits for me personally of actually moving on and, and getting past this phase and and actually sort of seeing the importance of getting stuff out that I create so that's much more important to me it's funny to hear you thinking saying you don't didn't have the confidence for it because I've got to ask you there's you and Hugh Jackman one's Wolverine you're a really bad dude in Iron Man 3 and what we're learning about you both or what we know about you both now you've joined up is there's a song and dance man inside both of these <laughs> I think there probably is a song and dance man inside every actor um on some level yeah but I you know I've been I guess writing stuff for my whole life, so um, you know it's it's always been there. It's just that the acting side of things, uh, you know, took off first. Really. Now you've done this. You, your album will come out. You've got the single out. You've done the whole rock clip, which is very rock clip, um, <laughs> in, in all its glory. Are you starting to think rock star rather than film star? No, no, not at all. I just think it's a part of my life that you know, will always be there and I'll, main, I'll certainly maintain working in film as I always have and, and I'll certainly keep making music. But I guess now if I'm, if I'm able to open the door and go, hey, yes, everyone, this is what I do too, if you like it or don't like it, whatever, I'll just keep that going as well because it's a really important balance to me. It's a nice counter to all the work that we do away f on films for other people, whereas this is far more personal. And so, no, I'll, I'll keep doing it. I certainly won't change careers as such. You've got your own recording studio at home, mm -hmm. I understand. You uh, went to New Zealand for some of this, worked with Tim Finn in his studios. I guess there's a few people you could have called on. I was doing a play in 2009 uh, called Poor Boy for Melbourne Theatre Company. That Tim, We were singing Tim Finn songs in the play and Michael Barker, who was the drummer in the play, sort of started to talk to me about the music I was making and he was very encouraging about trying to do something with it. And it was really his, um, you know, it was the motivation that I felt from him that prompted me to really actually take the songs to Eddie Rayner um, in New Zealand. And, and we went over and did some recording with a couple of musicians that he put together. And so it just, it sort of just came about through the inspiration of some other people. But I knew I just, that's all I needed. I just needed the sort of door to be unlocked, I suppose. So they're all your songs? Yeah. I'm a much better singer than I am a player. Well, I started playing guitar really late in life. To be honest, my favourite element is the recording element. It's the it's the it's the being able to really focus in on sort of style and um, mood and the the various layers that you can actually um, hone in on when you're recording. I like playing live as well. It's fun, but to be honest, I actually get so much more out of being in the studio. Can I say I think you're far too modest to be a rock star? Are you sure you're ready for the big stage? <laughs> I don't think I am, to be honest. <laughs> well, let's ha let's have a let's have a try now. Let's have a listen. Um, what are you going to play for us today? So this is the title track from the record Broken Bones, um, which is actually probably the newest song out of all the songs on the record. Let's have a listen. A cast is coming off today Relief is not that far away Could be a lonely time to be free But heal these momentary lies When you know you're faking Or you're taking down All that's golden Holding down I see you've taken all the broken 
broken bones Buried deep beneath this ground You've fallen on The dirty hands you hide that can't be found The chaste and old survive the heat The canny and bold revive the fleet Today the gracious lose their open minds In a way they've always known There'd be divine intervention So why intention fails? Is a question pondered An idea squandered or jailed? I see you've taken all the broken bones Buried deep beneath this ground You've fallen on The dirty hands you hide that can't be found We take ourselves so seriously then take chances on the world We tell ourselves it's not important to feel But spend a lifetime being heard No Yes, Guy Pearce, as we haven't heard him before, <laughs> letting go there with Tim Neal on keyboards. Guy, as beautiful as that was, and it was beautiful, congratulations. Thank you. I think a lot of people listening will be happy to hear that we're not losing you to rock and roll. No, definitely not. You are working on another movie now, I think, at the moment with, is that right, with um, with Kristen Stewart? I've just finished that. We've just done Equals in uh, in Japan. Actually, they're still going. They're now in Singapore. I've finished my section, so I've just done that, and I did a film in Austin, Texas called Results, and I'm about to start Holding the Man in uh, in Melbourne. Oh, so it's a very busy schedule. Seems so, yes. I'll let you get back to work. Guy Pearce, thank you very much for joining us, and Tim Neal, thank you too. Thank you, Fran. It's lovely to have you in the studio. Cheers. <laughs> 